ready Baby, I don't really know what you want to Maybe you can show me what you can do Or we can turn up if you want to Dance all night if you want to Drinks all night if you want to Change your whole life for me gone do Make you feel nice for me gone do Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Pink Sims and I am back again today with another video. Alright, so first of all, before I even get into anything, this is actually a 3,000 subscriber gift. I just want to say thank you all for being here. Thank you for my to my OGs and to all the newcomers. It's a pleasure to have you guys and I'm so grateful for the support. Alright, so this video, let me just say was a much requested highly highly asked for video my skin cc folder what made it win or what made me do this cc folder is because i had a poll in the community section of my youtube channel if you don't know what that is you need to get in on that now let me just say this let me put this out there okay if you have not put your if you have subscribed to my channel, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you have not already put your notifications, post notifications on all, go do that right now. If you're new, make sure you also click that bell. That's how you turn your post notifications off. If you have not put your post notifications on all, then that means that you're, you're like a cousin in this family. We still love you, but you're a cousin. If you want to be a sister, a brother, an aunt, a niece, a nephew in this family, you want to be a part of the main family, you need to go ahead and hit that bell. All right? Keep abreast of my community tab because I always do polls. And if you want to have a say in what videos I do next... Then y'all just need to hop over there. I'm all, I also have a Discord for help when I do my tutorial videos. A lot of times you guys have more detailed questions. If it doesn't work for you, you can head over to my Discord. All of this will be linked in the description box below. And as always, all my socials are linked in the description box below. So you can always follow me up on all of those as well. And now without further ado, let's get into this video. Now there was just literally way too much items to click on. So I didn't do it my normal way of showing folders where I click on everything. I went ahead and I created some sims, okay? So I'm just going to do a little voiceover because this was done before, okay? So it's kind of like, not really a tutorial video, but y'all get a little idea of into my head what I'm thinking when I'm creating my sims. Oh, and one more thing. I will also be linking in the description box below some merch that i made for your sims <laughs> some persons were also interested in this in the community section of my profile so you can go ahead and click on the links down below it'll take you to my patreon which is free and you can go ahead and if you want you can download these for your sims to rep the pink sims brand in your game now without further ado let's get into this video and let me just make us let's make us sim people all right, so the first thing that we normally see when we get into cats is a randomly generated sim, random outfits, everything. Now, I usually go ahead and I can either start with the face or start with the body. Today, I decided to start with a body preset. You want my presets? There's also a video out. Just check in the CC folder section of my channel. But here I am looking for a body type for this sim now. The body type that I just clicked on is literally one of my favorites. I tend to use about three specific presets and I make my sins but this one is one of my favorites I do not remember who it is by but as you can see I'm just cinching oh, sis's waist a little bit and sometimes most times I get a little booty sometimes a little boobs as you can see I'm doing right now um yeah sometimes I bring them up sometimes I bring them down it really doesn't matter but today I thought homegirl should get a little some perky boobs and now I'm just gonna apparently I decided to do her hair next sometimes you need a hair to like build the sim just to have an idea of what you want the sim to look like so as you can see right here I'm just testing out some different hairstyles I also I also have multiple hair folders on my channel so y'all can check those out as well but yeah I decided I wanted to try getting the hairstyle first but I think I think in the end I ended up changing the hair also she has these ashy ass eyebrows so i decided to just change that real quick because like what else would you do and then we headed over to the skin section and usually i don't use face mask or whole skins but i decided to try one for today's video this is the first time i'm using this skin as well by the way 
so of course I didn't like how small her lips were so I decided to use a base game lip and just use my slider to adjust it to make her lips a lot bigger I do like when my sims have large lips but I also play around with all the lips that I have in my game so they may not always look this way as you would have noticed so I'm just playing around with her lip and I'm just thinking to myself I just want it to be like voluptuous okay I want it to be like big top and bottom so that's what I was doing right here and then I thought this nose is not gonna work sis like we have to change that nose so sometimes when you when you make a sim based on the skin not all the noses will look good so I'm just here clicking on multiple noses just trying to get the perfect one okay and sometimes you just have to play around and adjust them using sliders that you have in your game. I don't even know what kind of sliders the base game comes with because I have so much sliders in my game. But I decided to settle on this nose and we're just trying to make it look a lot better basically. And I didn't like the shape of her face. So I decided to change that as well. Now I usually grab, as you would have known already, the, sh the forehead. Sometimes I grab her jaw. You just got to play around until you get the perfect face shape. Sometimes the face shape would be specific to the sim that you're creating. So if you start making a sim and you realize, okay, I think her lips would look better on a slimmer face or on her on a bigger face. You just go ahead and you do that. So I was having a lot of problems with this nose. Like this nose was not it. So I just kept trying to adjust it to make her at least look cute from the side as well. I don't always pay attention. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I don't always pay attention to how my sims look from the side but I decided that I do it sometimes I won't lie sometimes I pay attention sometimes they automatically look good from the side but a lot of times I don't really even pay attention but today I decided to do so I still did not like the shape of her face so you're gonna realize that I'm gonna change a bit going forward and then there's the eyes when it comes to these cat when it comes to skins y'all as you all would probably know it sometimes comes with makeup already with eyeshadow and so forth but sometimes depending on the eye that you use it'll make them look better all right so as you can see i'm adjusting the size of her eyes and then i'm gonna be changing the hair again because <laughs> i was like this hair is not giving her life and we end up deciding on this hair by Diverse King. I will, if you guys like, I may end up linking his Patreon below. So if you guys, if I don't remember, I'm sorry y'all. But if I do, I will link his Patreon below. I absolutely love this hairstyle. And it literally made her face. I'm here trying on eye eyelashes. And I'm thinking to myself, like, I really use these eyelashes because sis finna look like she finna fly away and i'm not about that life so even though you see me playing around with the eyelashes i'm probably gonna pick something more subtle <laughs> y'all i just cannot use the large lashes like as much as i try i always go back to my my go-to's so um i was also thinking of doing an eye what do you call these a lashes video because i have i have a few lashes i have a few favorite lashes so in the future i'll definitely do a video for you guys on my favorite CC to use when I'm building <laughs> y'all she look like Dumbo just now when I'm building a sim okay so I was kind of I kind of liked how she looked here I don't remember if I made any more adjustments but we just have to like let's look and see so of course I'm here trying to give her eyeliner cuz sis I love putting my sims in makeup like they not they look good without makeup but there's just something about makeup man makeup and hair for me and shoes are my absolute favorite part when it comes to sims and jewelry let's not let's just stop capping i like everything when i'm making the sims i like the outfits i like the nails i like the hair i like everything and then it comes to the eyeshadow y'all when it comes to these kinds of skins all the eyeshadows will not show you'll be clicking on eyeshadows and some of them will not show so it's really specific to the type that's why it's good to have a large inventory of eyelashes as you can see when i click on the first couple it'll show but sometimes when you click on others nothing comes up and i was just trying to find one that covered the base i i should actually basically came with and to give her my own but y'all they were just too bright 
so I literally just kept clicking all over the flipping place like I really like that one but I was like it's like a, a nightwear that blue that we just saw with the glitter is super cute but I think it's for in the night and I'm trying to find something just subtle and cute she was also on the thumbnail if you guys had noticed and she came up pretty cute um it was actually a household of sims i think i made about four and i thought to myself i was gonna voice over all four but i was like nah that's gonna be a long ass video so i'm just doing this one sim if y'all want this sim it's gonna be a bit difficult to give y'all because as i said before it's a, it's a household of four so if y'all want household what am i saying if y'all want the house hold of four let me know and i'll put it in the description box below okay I'll put the link there and I these 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 um what do you call it these nose piercings I cannot remember who made them for the love of me but I'm obsessed I absolutely love these nose piercings <laughs> but um, I think I ended up using a smaller one just because it looked better on her nose and then for her earrings y'all I don't remember what I used for her earrings though but I absolutely love jewelry. I am yet to try all of them that I have. I usually have a lot of go-tos that I use. Oh yeah, I remember what I, I ended up using, I think, gold. I actually love seeing my dark, my dark skin sims in gold rather than silver, to be honest. I just feel like it complements their complexion more. But sometimes I'll put them in silver. So I'm back, apparently, in the body preset section i'm wondering if i changed it and it looks like oh this is one of oh my god y'all yes this is my other go-to like a majority of my sims i have this step on her neck body preset like i absolutely love it okay and it looks as if it's what i ended up deciding on so yeah these are the two that i use i didn't know i would end up showing you guys in this video but yeah it's the one that i use it gives her, it gives her a lot of hips, a cinched waist, and some nice thighs. So, mm -hmm. and now we're onto the clothing section. But I wanted to get her something simple, and I literally bingoed on the first go. Like this accentuates her shape, and she looks so good. So I didn't even change this dress. And then I was like, I don't think she should be in heels. This looks more like a casual fit. So I was like, let's get her. So even though I was trying on heels, I really know I was gonna end up get, giving her some flats. And I thought these flats were absolutely cute. I don't even know where I got them or when. But I have a feeling, I don't want to lie, but I have a feeling that it's from Redhead Sims. If y'all don't know who that is, y'all need to check them out. They literally make the best, let me not say the best, I'm doing the most. One of the best shoe CCs out there. Like, they make really good shoes and hair and so much more other stuff. So you should definitely check out Redhead Sims. Now, obviously, I don't own any of the, or I didn't create any of the skins in this cc folder so i want to say shout out to all those creators in the cc community y'all are bomb and y'all are who are out here making my sims bomb ass and i appreciate every single one of you okay so let me just tell y'all a few of the popular skin creators since this is a cc folder and not cc links because if it was a cc links it would never be done but let me just tell you some of the ones off the top of my head that i know i have in this folder i think there's sim melancholic is that how you pronounce it i can't remember then there's also j sims she makes abs i think it's a she i'm not sure but that creator makes absolutely by my skins there is diverse king he also makes skins um there's obviously this is them like everybody know like why is why is the cat crying outside y'all I'm not I'm not even gonna continue um, voicing over this video because I'm just putting on some more accessories on her and such Tarzan Tarzan wants to be featured in this video y'all so anyways <laughs> no you're not coming inside Tarzan anyways y'all we're gonna I'm sorry we're gonna ignore the kitty right now and <laughs> let me just continue talking so as I was saying there's diverse King obviously there's this is them this is them is very popular for making realistic skins and it's realistic from top to bottom there is also somebody that's on the tip of my tongue who i cannot remember right now she also makes skin y'all oh my days i can't remember but she makes a lot of the skins i have in my folder and i didn't 
in this particular sim I did not show you guys like my sim my skin details that I have but I have a lot of freckles I have so much moles I love to play around with my moles I don't know like to me I don't know like having little I don't want they're not blemishes because I think they're I think they're really beautiful so I just feel like when I have a sim if I don't have on a full skin like the one that the sim has on right now I usually play around with freckles moles um beauty spots sometimes dimples I love dimples y'all so there's a lot of dimples in my folder um yeah a lot of lip shades sometimes you can put bait you can put lip shades on the sim that will show up constantly so obviously like a bottom lip color stuff like that are also in the folder and as you can see we have reached the end of me making this sim and i think she turned out pretty cute she's not my usually my usual type of sims and again i don't have a usual type of sims because i make so many different types of sims and i'm going really fast but that's because i'm reaching the end of this <laughs> sim i don't want i don't want it to dip into the next sim because we're not gonna do the second sim but yeah you guys once again once more thank y'all for the subs i appreciate every single one of you i'm trying i'm working on oh my god we went on the next sim y'all ignore her in the background because we're not finna go through this okay i think we did a male sim but i'm not feeling that right now we're doing our outro so y'all just ignore the background so I was as I was saying I'm working on some more CC folders for you guys because you guys seem to really like CC folders and I'm also working on maybe creating a schedule just so you guys can kind of to work on my consistency with good content and yeah that's what I'm saying to work on my content that I put out so you guys have an idea of what I'm gonna do every week and stuff like that um so yeah <laughs> thanks again i hope you enjoy this cc folder i hope you go out there and you make some bomb ass sims for your sim worlds enjoy your gameplay you guys i love you all and goodbye